Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. In my last video, I showed you how to fix the PS4 Linux black screen problem. And in this video, I'm going to show you something interesting. How could you use a DualShock 4 controller to run PS3 games via the RPCS3 on Gen2 Linux? This video is for Gen2 Linux, but the procedure remains the same for using it on pretty much any other variant of Linux for the PS4. In this video, I'm also going to show you how to connect your PS4 controller via Bluetooth to the PS4 Linux version. Okay, so first we're going to do that, and then I'm going to show you how to use it on the RPCS3, which is the PlayStation 3 emulator. Okay, so let's begin. The first thing you have to do is go to the Bluetooth settings on your Linux. It is on the right bottom part, right, right here. Click on it, and uh, the first thing you're going to make sure is uh, the Bluetooth is switched on. As you can see, it is. I'm going to press the Add New Device. And while that scans, get your DualShock 4 controller out and make sure that you're pressing on the PlayStation button and the share button at the same time. As you can see, the white light starts blinking on it and a wireless controller will show up on your computer screen or for that matter, your monitor. So press next on it, choose it and press next on it. And on the right top portion of your screen, there's going to be a pop-up press on trust and authorize now to check that your bluetooth controller is actually connected just click on the bluetooth icon so the first step of the tutorial is done now let's move on to the next step which is using the dualshock controller on the rpcs3 okay before we actually open rc rpcs3 there are a few steps to be taken care of the first thing you have to do is go to the link that i've already linked to in the description this is a link and scroll below and under using DualShock 4 controller click on Linux. There's going to be a lot of code but it all makes sense in a few moments. Next, go to the start menu and choose the file manager. Then, make sure under the removal devices in the left pane, you have chosen Gen2. And then go into the folder named etc. And under etc, uh, scroll below and you'll find a folder udev. Go into that and again in, uh, in that folder rules.t okay once you're under this folder right click on a free space and choose actions and there open a terminal on the terminal first of all type su then it's gonna ask for a password type ts4 it won't appear on the screen so don't worry and press enter so now we are in now what you have to do is go back to the web page and copy this piece of code 99 days 4 controller dot rules okay till rules copy it and then come back to the terminal and first of all type right arrow by the space and then right click and uh, paste it and then press enter now if you were to go back to the rules.d folder you would see that there's a new file by that name and now come back to the terminal and now type nano nano is a text editor and space and right click paste and then press enter so we are now in the text editor now go back to the web page Copy this piece of code, it starts from DualShock 4 over USB and then keep going down until you reach the mode Z is equal to 0, triple 6. Now copy that piece of code, come back to the terminal, right click here and then paste. So the code has been pasted, now press Ctrl and X together. Now it's going to ask if you want to save it, press Y and then press Enter. So that piece of code is saved where it, uh, where it is supposed to be. Now go back to the web page down again and you're gonna find this piece of code here it starts with sudo but do not copy the sudo so uh, start copying from udev adm and copy till reload rules back to the terminal right click here paste and then press enter that's it all the steps have been done now it's time to check if it works on the rpcs3 or not so here we have got rpcs3 that is we found it to open it and it's gonna check for updates and then Go to the configuration on the top menu and click pads. So as you can see, there are multiple options here. Right under the player, you'll see handlers, and under handlers, you'll see keyboard. Press on it and choose DualShock 4. So, as you can see, this is connected. It is evident by the fact that it shows the battery status and LED right here. It shows 70% right now for me. Now, with that, we have come to the end of the video. Right now, when it comes to the PS4 Linux version of RPCS3, it is still in its nascent phases and uh, 
you can't actually play high end games like God of War and stuff like that on it right now. But you could at least you know like experiment with it. And uh, the DualShock 4 controller comes in handy while checking it out. So I hope you like this video. If you did like this video, please leave a like below, comment below, and do subscribe to our channel for more videos. And make sure that you also press on the bell icon so that you get a notification each time we upload a new awesome video. Thank you for watching. Bye, guys.